Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Big Bang Chemistry, a complete solution of chemistry. In the series of video lecture of important topics, today we are going to discuss the back bonding and in this video I will try to introduce the back bonding and in the next video we will discuss the some examples having the application of back bonding. So what is back bonding? Back bond, it is a special type of coordinate covalent bond and it always form in presence of sigma bond. Meaning is what the independent existence of back bonding is not possible. So any single coordinate bond in absence of sigma bond will not be your back bonding. So to understand the meaning of coordinate covalent bond and coordinate bond, let's try to discuss the classification of coordinate bond first. So for our own understanding, we can classify this coordinate bond into two groups. The first part will be what simple coordinate bond and for the formation of simple coordinate bond what is needed the definition of simple coordinate bond is that it is a what a special type of covalent bond first and in this type of covalent bond what happen the shear pair of electron provided by one of the combining atom this is the definition of coordinate bond so meaning is what the atom which donate the electron pair known as what donor atom so in this there is a one donor atom and this donor atom will donate electron pair and there is an acceptor atom this acceptor atom will have the what one empty orbital so when this donor atom having the what filled orbital with the one lone pair of electron and this is the acceptor atom having the empty orbital then what happened this donor atom donate its lone pair to the empty orbital and finally a coordinate bond form between the donor and acceptor atom but in the definition it is mentioned that it is a special type of covalent bond so meaning is that after the formation of this bond it becomes covalent and it work as a what sigma bond this is the meaning of simple coordinate bond now the second part of this coordinate bond is what back bonding this is very interesting according to the definition of back bonding so back bond is what it is a what coordinate covalent bond this back bond is nothing it is a what coordinate covalent bond and it always form between two atoms in presence of sigma bond so now let's suppose this is the donor atom this is the acceptor atom there is a what one sigma bond exists between this donor acceptor correct so now suppose this donor atom is having one pair of electron and this acceptor atom is having one empty orbital so what will happen this donor atom can donate its electron to the empty orbital so now after this donation this is also covalent bond it is a special type of coordinate covalent bond so this is covalent bond now check this is what sigma bond so what is the nature of this coordinate bond now pi bond so your back bond is having the what pi nature but your normal coordinate bond or simple coordinate bond is having what sigma nature we should not confused between the simple coordinate bond and back bonding one more thing in this type of bonding our donor atom can be the word central atom or can be the word surrounding atom. Our acceptor atom can be the word central atom or can be the word surrounding atom, right? And in presence of this sigma bond, if a back bond will form, a special type of coordinate covalent bond will form. So this bonding, which is the word back bond, will generate the word one multiple bond character. So this is the what differences between the simple coordinate bond and back bond. So back bond is having pi nature, simple coordinate bond is having sigma nature, simple coordinate bond can have the what independent existence but back bonding always form in presence of sigma bond and it has the what pi nature. This is the basic difference between the coordinate and back bonding. Now what are the conditions for the back bonding? The first condition is that whoever the donor atom, either central atom or the surrounding atom it should have the what at least one lone pair of electron and this donor atom may be our central atom or maybe what surrounding atom for the back bonding second condition is that whoever will be acceptor atom either our surrounding atom or central atom must contain must contain empty orbital now which type of orbital this empty orbital may be p orbital or may be d orbital but when there is a d orbital be alert because see that in back bonding is nothing it is a pi bond and pi bond always formed by the what overlapping of pure orbital not the hybrid orbital not the axial orbital 
so whenever you will think about the d orbital or empty d orbital so this d maybe your what dxy maybe your what dxz maybe your what dyz but this d will not be what dx square y square will not be what dz square why because these are the what axial d orbital and these axial orbital always form the what sigma bond but back bonding having the what pi nature so pi nature bond or pi type of bond can be formed by the overlapping or sharing of electron between the pure orbital so d orbitals are available for the formation of back bonding this is the very important thing right so what is the meaning that this axial orbital do not participate in back bond formation only non axial orbital will participate this is the second condition now third condition is that this donor atom and this acceptor atom must belong from either from the second period or third period this also from the second period or third period so what are the combinations are possible if donor atom is from second period acceptor can be from the second period if donor will be from second period acceptor can be from the third period if donor from third period then acceptor can belong from second period but if donor from third period and acceptor from third period so this type of combination will not generate the back bonding why we will discuss with example in later but these combination will generate the what back bonding based on these combination of the atom we can classify the back bonding is of two type so classification of back bonding so back bonding may be of what p pi p pi back bonding or second type of back bonding is what d pi p pi or p pi d pi back bonding now after this any molecules having the ability to form the back bonding between their atoms so what should be the consequences of the back bonding so now let's discuss the consequences of back bonding first consequences is it affect the bond angle the second consequence is that due to multiple bond character of back bonding what will happen first bond length will decrease and because of this bond length will decrease and multiple bond character will increase then stability will increase as for example this is the donor atom this is the acceptor atom right single sigma bond is there so suppose the radius of this rd radius of acceptor atom is ra right so what is the bond length for this one this d1 will be what rd plus ra but if in between this d and a if there is a back bond is going to form so now there is a presence of pi bonding so this time what will happen this d2 will be what less than rd plus ra so in presence of this multiple bond the bond length will decrease when bond length will decrease then stability will increase last consequences is very important just listen it and there are many very good examples are there for the last consequences and this is the major part of this back bonding consequences see that if there is a donor atom there is a acceptor atom and in between this if donor atom and acceptor atom is there right if donor atom is what central atom then what will happen geometry of the molecule will change now if donor atom is what surrounding atom then geometry of the molecule will not change now question is why and how so answer of this question you will get in the next video where we will discuss the some of the examples in that examples i will try to discuss each and every point of this discussion so i hope that everyone is understanding the meaning of back bonding thank you very much